so we are back at the web live uh, in the evening after a very uh, tense day and uh, I just had the opportunity to uh, actually uh, meet uh, Fizal from Kayak. Hi Fizal. Hi Guillaume. Uh, so it's a pleasure to, uh, to, to actually interview you because uh, you're one of the few representatives of the, uh, the travel-related uh, uh, companies here uh, at LeWeb. Um, and uh, you've been appointed recently uh, uh, to uh, manage uh, uh, a kayak in uh, Europe. Um, and that's about three months ago now. Uh, I just want to ask you first, uh, what are the challenges you are you currently looking at uh, in Europe uh, and you're trying to, uh, to uh, respond? Uh, what are the first thing you, you found in a, in a business model of kayak you know, introduced to Europe? Well, I think the business model uh, translates very well from, from the States to, to Europe. Um, but to answer your question, um, kayak is a very, very well-known proposition in the United States. It has very high uh, market, market awareness. When we look at, at transferring the success of the kayak product um, to, to Europe, whilst the product, I think, translates very, very well, and that quite clearly there, there are, you know, the, the market opportunity in, in Europe is as big as it is in, in the United States, what we haven't done yet and what we're in the process of doing is building our brand and building our market awareness such that people know and think of kayak as their, as their first port of call in starting their travel journey. And you're doing that online, or you're looking at other, uh, you know, advertising uh, uh, opportunities. Like I was uh, always amazed to see, uh, you know, a startup company like Travel to Market who advertise heavily on TV, probably because they saw you coming uh, and they were scared. How, how are you going to, you know, raise traffic uh, to to the European uh, population? Well, I think um, building a brand and marketing awareness comes hand in hand with building a great product. One of the uh, attractive things about Kayak for me coming, coming in recently was simply that the product it really, really does work very, very well. And we spend a great uh, amount of time and energy building a product which we think is market leading. So in terms of being the kind of product which people will recommend to each other, you know, Kayak is, is that kind of product which people have a great experience and they'll tell their family and friends, colleagues that you, know, you, should, you should try Kayak, it's a, it's a great product. That's the the simplest, I think, the most effective way of, of growing a brand and growing awareness and growing repeat visitors. Apart from that, obviously, we do on online marketing, um, and most of our most of our marketing is actually done uh, using SEO. So we will uh, try to attract users who are you know, who go into the major search engines and are looking for either hotels or, or flights or, or, or car hire. Um, one of my comments uh, I made recently, and I'm currently looking at uh, comparing different uh, travel meta search engines, is it's becoming a very crowded market today. Um, do you think in next year, uh, because of uh, you know the, the lack of capital, some uh, startups at a very early stage are, are going to disappear, and therefore you guys actually have a lot of money uh, in a bank, uh, you will be able to really grow uh, and, and you know have a robust technology to to make uh, stick in it to uh, your consumers. You know, it's it's an interesting time, I think, for for, uh, for the whole market. We've heard today at uh, at, at, at the web of the uh, of the both the difficulties and opportunities that an economic crisis uh, presents the whole of the internet community. I think uh, one of the things that that kayak you'll see kayak contemplating in, in 2009 is acquisitions of. Uh, of travel businesses uh, who fit well within our, our portfolio in the same way as we acquired Sidestep in December of 2007. And the difference is this time the valuations are much more realistic and make it much, uh, much, it makes it uh, more, um, it makes an acquisition and makes growth in Europe and Asia through acquisition much more digestible than it was even six months ago. Okay, and uh, talking about uh, how you get the content to the website, can you explain in very layman terms, you know, how do you connect with all those uh, online travel agents and hotel providers? I mean, people uh, probably heard about, about screen scraping, but I think you have a better technology than just screen scraping. Yeah, so actually, what's different about Kayak from many, many of our, our competitors is that we don't screen scrape. We don't, um, we've never had a, the policy of going to uh, our providers, whether they're online travel agencies, uh, hotel companies, or or airlines, and copying their their screens or scraping their screens, we think that's detrimental both to to people who we partner with um, and doesn't provide the best uh, service to to our users. So instead, we actually go and partner. So in the case of 
of the airlines we partner with, some of the world's largest uh, global distribution systems like Amadeus and ITA. We partner with hotel aggregators um, and we partner with the car hire companies. So we spend a lot of time building up those relationships, which means that we can provide accurate and real-time prices to, to our users um, and actually provide our, our, our partners with users who are going to be much um, much better satisfied by the service um, and we actually don't imp negatively impact their own standalone services. Um, interesting enough, talk, talking about uh, you know uh, hotels, uh, uh, providers, and uh, aggregators. Um, do you find it more difficult to uh, do uh, you know the, uh, your, your product to the hotel versus air? Uh, isn't it more difficult because there is more actually hotels and airlines, uh, and, and and also the information, especially the static information like description and pictures, are, are so spread across that you know it's hard to get the right information for the consumers. I think actually uh, you make a very good point um, and what we're doing at, at Kayak is investing very heavily um, in um, making our hotel algorithm even better than it, than it is today. Uh, we are investing in uh, building new hotel content and I think that over the course of 2009 you'll see innovation in the hotel space coming out of Kayak which makes um, the service even more valuable to users, helping them find even better hotels better recommendations um, and help it, giving the user an overall a better hotel booking experience. Uh, and the last question, what do you think of uh, first day at Le Web? Le Web's great in terms of connecting with, um, you know, with, our, with people who work across the internet space, whether it's in telecoms, whether it's um, in uh, digital hardware, across convergence or, or travel, uh, there's, there's a lot to learn. Um, It's a vibrant uh, European community and it's, it's great to be part of something like this. It's a real palpable sense that uh, uh, even though the economy might be against us, the, there's, there's a real sense of excitement around the uh, European web industry. All right, that's good to hear. Thank you, Fezal. Cheers. Cheers.